John Benton, uh, and I was an aviation electronic uh, technician first class. Well, on the ship it was 12 and 12, and then if we were in port, then you worked one day, then you had, uh, it's like a standby one day, and then Liberty one day. You know, so it's every like third day, you just leave the ship and go wherever. And if you had to leave time to burn, and I, I did that once, we, we were in Naples for two weeks. A friend of mine off the ship, we went to Germany from Naples. We took the train all the way up through the Alps to Munich. And, uh, you know, it was a fun trip. Um, I remember coming back, coming back because I left, uh, I went to Garmisch, which is, there's a military resort Garmisch. It's right on the southern, it's in Bavaria, it's not too far from the Swiss border. And uh, so I went there for a few days and then I took the train south and I fell asleep on the train. I was going to Naples. I wound up in Milan. <laughs> a little bit of difference. <laughs> See, before the train got to Milan, somebody woke me up and says, going to Milan? Are you going somewhere else? Where are we? So, got off the train, waited for the next one to come by, and then I, I wound up getting back to Naples. Gosh, I don't remember them having a general quarters when I wasn't working. <laughs> but basically, they just locked all the doors. I mean, they, you do that on a ship anyway. When you close the hatch and you spin the wheel, and it, it locks the door. And if you're going to come in, then somebody spins it from the other side, and whatever. But yeah, so we were basically locked in and we had the accident with the bell nap and, and that wasn't the only time we had general quarters. I mean, because they were constantly doing drills where they would call it general quarters, general quarters. And um, I really forget the rest of the, the, uh, the verbiage that they used, but basically it was locked down and prepare for whatever they felt like we had to prepare for, you know, if it was some sort of battle action or some sort of emergency or something, whatever it was, you know. Um, and so we were in locked down until uh, they they cleared us out of general quarters. You know, I was in a shop there, I mean, it was one, one level up, I was up the steps from the birthing compartment I was in, uh, that was the first cruise. Uh, the second Second cruise, I was one deck below the mess decks. I mean, literally, you go up the. <laughs> it's funny because you had to, you had to go up the ladder. Here's the mess deck, and the restrooms, the showers, and all were. You, know, you literally had to walk between people eating to get to the showers. <laughs> and in my head, my the. That was the second cruise. That was uh, uh, end of '76 and early '77. I think we left. Actually, left Norfolk early, seven, like January '77. We came back in August, and my bunk, the head of my bunk, was at bulkhead. The other side of the bulkhead, still bulkhead, was the ammunition elevator. And that thing ran all day long. And, and of course, I worked nights, but. Uh, you just get used to this stuff. When you're 19, 20, 21 years old, you can sleep through anything. 